evening, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. I'm just going to get on my stream as per usual. But today we're looking at pipe organ from Omni. Oh, yes, yes. And it's just, just, just not, just not another oh, pipe organ at all. It's a lively thing this is, but it does some cool stuff. You don't even need to be an organist. You don't even need to play. Who's here? Hozza's here. Hi, Hozza. And Stephen Walls. Hi, Wall. Uh, Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Sai. Three Stigs here. <laughs> Hi. Um, so, right. Stephen and been stuck. I've been stuck in. I've, I've been stuck in since 2017. <laughs> Right, so, let me explain a little bit how this is going to... This incredible, Omni make incredible apps. Now, I did tell Phil that uh, we were... Um, were one this and hi, 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 Daniel. I did tell... And don't forget, guys, strike the like. Strike the like now. Strike it now. Um, I did tell Phil uh, from Omni that we are, we'll, we are streaming tonight, but uh, whether he can make it or not is another thing. Um, I have this all. Th what's nice is I have this all MIDI up now. If you've got three controllers, if you've got another manual, or if you've got MIDI pedals, you can set all this up for that. Let me just close, let me just make it a little bit duller there because I think that'd be more pleasant for you guys. Um, you can set all this up. I have so I've got this, I set this all up today with the what's it, the Oh, sorry, key step. <clears throat> and saved it in user memory slot one. As you can see, it says pipe organ. And I have the pads mapped to control the actual um, the pistons here. And then I have the top row set to control the banks like that. So bank A, piston one. And then... In, if we go into if if you go into settings, all the reverb and stuff, I was on two. Is is I've mapped to these four controls, so nothing now. Don't worry, guys, it does get louder. And then if I and then sort of space and then tone. And if you stick around till the end, guys, we've got a new track from Joe. Yes, yes. And then pre-delay. Which I like that. And then the one that you can't see just at the end here is the... Now, I also have an expression pedal and a sustain pedal plugged into the back of the uh, key lab. Because you can basically... And I could plug another expression pedal in as well. Anyway, I have the expression pedal plugged in to control the grate to swell, the swell to grate. So as I push up the expression pedal, it will bring in this section of stops. So if I just quickly do this, that's bringing in those, for example. If I pull out those three, pull my expression pedal back and then... Which can give you really cool... Now, it's not AUV3 and stuff like that. It's not the point of the app. I think it is inter-app audio, though. So we can swap between... Hey, Daniel, as well. Stephen Jones, hello. Jamie Malander. Hi, Jamie. Now, of course, without the swell to grate, so this patch doesn't use swell to grate, you can also have it swell to all sorts of other stuff. So, for instance, at the moment, messing with my pedal is not going to make any difference to the sound and you won't even hear this side 
whatever I'm doing with it. But as soon as I run in swell to great and then pull back my pedal and then push it back up again. Track the volume down a little bit there. But if I also then bring in all the other stops. Which are attached to my pedal and all. Sustain works as well, but you wouldn't really have a sustain pedal on an organ, would you? It would just it just holds the notes down. Okay, so that's that. It, 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 the presets tend to go from larger. To save a preset is super easy. So let's let's make a slight adjustments to this one. To save a piston set, basically. That's a really nice sound with the actual pistons close uh, with the swell to grey on. We're not going to hear any of this. We'll bring this in. But let's add something else. If we want to save that now, we just hit this little red button here and then just hold this and that's done. So when I go back to it now, it's remembered it. And you have uh, one, two, seven banks of eight. So be a touch loud there. So let's well let's pull out all the stops and that is where that saying came from pull out all the stops from organist so let's pull out all the stops everything's out here we'll still have swell to grate on so we'll drop down the pedal so taking out the swell as you can see the little light there and then still a very grand and majestic sound but listen to how grand and majestic it sounds when everything is rocking To learn the rest of that as well because I can't remember it now. Hmm. Anyway, so that's basically the organ side of it. It's lovely. Different banks have different. Oh, we could have done bank uh, D, patch three, seven, sorry. So some of these are kind of left open for your own experimentation. I think from bank. And then you could save oh Colin's here hi Colin oh Colin's been to Port Merion I went to Port Merion when I was a little kid and 
it was when a can of Coke cost like 15, 20p. It was in the 80s, early 80s. And a can of Coke cost 15. And in Port Merion, it was 35 pence for a can of Coke. And me and my mate, Tony, who'd gone there with his mum and dad, we said, that's no wonder he wanted to escape at the prices. But it's a beautiful place. It was it was a little bit tattier then as well. I think it looks much nicer now. Collins, where he stayed, looked amazing. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, but back in the, back then, it, that was a lot of money, you know, especially for like like teenagers. And if anyone's here who's not a patron, please consider becoming a patron from as little as a dollar a month, and it, you get a chance to win pipe organ as well at the moment. <laughs> Now, let's get into the more... This, this is what's brilliant about this app. Okay, so I mean, it sounds lovely. Incredible, it's synthesis as well, and no samples. Just synthesis. Phil's a genius, man. He really is. Right, so... <clears throat> here's the thing. These sections here, hymnal and recording and services. This is awesome. Oh, this is this at the top is a... Is a um, Let's go to let's go to uh, bank A A and the full on full on Monty. This is a CPU meter. It's not it's not even touching it. You know what I mean? We're not on this iPad. So the fact that it's synthesis as well is incredible. It's amazing. Now, I don't know how Phil does it, and I tell you what, when when he was um, what's it in this app? I swear to God, some days I'd be getting two or three test flight updates a day for the app. He really, really, really knows his stuff and he really works hard on getting the app perfect. Primarily aimed at organists, obviously, in churches for all over the world. Because if you've got a MIDI set up, something like this simple, or with multiple MIDI controllers, maybe a big pedal board, You've got like a great big monster massive church organ. Now, if you were playing in a real church, you might want to actually knock off the reverb and let the church reverb do the job. Or with this one, you can basically make it as big and bright as you as you like. But the the, the actual settings are all inside settings here, as we'll go into in a sec. There we go. So you set all your settings here. So this is the overall volume. I've got it set quite sensibly because I can control it with a fader. And you probably can't see that, can you? I shall do this right down. Okay, so probably needs a bit of a brighter light, but in the room. No, I, right, okay, that's not a problem. I could probably Sure, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is where you set up your MIDI and everything like that. Which we don't need to worry about that. What? Some of the actual just the stops on her own are an absolute beautiful thing. I'll knock that swell off. So I've got nothing there apart from... Anyway, what I'm, I'm getting distracted. Information is a fantastic and very deep and interesting manual. Which I suggest you read because it tells you all about pipe organs. You can't see it, can you? But it tells you about all about. It's cause me light. I've, I'm really must actually sort the make the light brighter. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to the organ. If we go into here, hymnal and recording and services. This is fantastic. This is where you can set up uh, a concert, or or if you were if you were an organist in church, you could set up all your hymns. If you go tap on this, it takes you into this page here. And here, where it says Danny Boy Jerusalem, Mel Min Minstrel is one of mine, um, you, you can choose different um, ca categories as well. I'll show you how to choose the categories elsewhere. But 
if if you go right, you can choose a song like this, anything, and then maybe and just play it. So that's brilliant right so if you choose if we go to if we get out of that now we go to services this is where you can set a whole service up by choosing from the particular and here is where you have like this it'll go hymns and it'll put them at the top carols so we could go you see it's got it came upon a midnight clear there well i could choose carols here well hark the Hark the Herald Angel Sing, and then just hit this little plus and it'll stick it in there. Or we could go to the second slot there and then put this one. And now we've got two carols in our services section and we can save up to 20 hymns or, or, or pieces of music in the services section and we have five banks of 20. So say for instance you were going carol singing. I, I know not many people do that now, but I used to love that. Not me personally going carol singing, but carol singers in general. What you just do is basically just hit this play button here. super neat about this right is if you're practicing if you've got a choir or you're into choir music or stuff like that you can transpose everything or you can speed it up this is so cool and i'll tell you what this these saving these uses nothing nothing look basically listen watch this Transpose that to semitones. So that's that section. So this is where you can actually build up your. Uh, let's see. I mean, I don't. This is one of mine, uh, Minstrel, which I recorded earlier. So I'll show you how to record your own stuff. It's very, very cool. Uh, let's just transfer that over to slot one. It doesn't MIDI quantize, you have to play it sort of thing. Started ended up sounding like Jethro Tull. Let's go back in, let's go to hymnal and recording now. We can see that in there somewhere is, is what I did. Um, here's the thing. You can record all your changes in... So if I'm going to go back now and I'm going to choose um, bank B and slot one. So, very nice. So we'll start with, watch this, I'm going to start with bank uh, piston number three setting. These are stops, these are pistons. Pistons, remember, an order of stops on an organ. Okay, so. Um, I know I love Tull, I do. Ian Anderson, I think he's a, a genius. And and Martin Barr. I think he get, didn't get as much credit as he deserved. But hey, you know. Hey. Uh, so look, let's go into hymnal and record. And you'll see I have number three selected there now whilst we're in this page we can jump back onto this page and see what's going on but we're still basically in hymnal and recording so we'll go back to the wall and we'll see here it says title empty compose empty organist is ipad 2 we can change all that obviously 
Now what's your time and your byte? At the moment it's on 512 bytes. But there's nothing in there, there's nothing to play because I haven't recorded anything now. And you'll notice that it's gone back to, right, I'm gonna do this again to show you. Go back here, I'm gonna choose, I can do this, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna choose piston number three again, you see here. Now when I, as soon as I hit record, right? Uh, wait, yes. As soon as I hit record, remember, as soon as I hit record and I press play, You'll see it jumps back to piston one, but nothing is recording or playing, nothing. So I'm gonna choose three again. And the order of this is important because this is how it works. So let's stop it again. Let's choose piston number six. Let's hit record. Let's hit play and it will jump back to number one. Well, let's then now choose, while it's in play, let's choose piston three, which is what I wanna start. And nothing is gonna record until I start, nothing. So you've got as much time as you can spend forever waiting. But as soon as I start to record now. Keep an eye on the time and the bites. Stop now. I've used one nine one thousand nine hundred one. What's that? Just uh, just under two meg. Doesn't matter now. It's time stopped. I can stop this. And once I've stopped it, I can play it, and it plays the way it was recorded. Look. It even records all your mistakes. So that's that. You can have it loop and it will wait a few seconds and play again. Say if, if, we, if it was a communion in church or something like that, you could do that and it'll just, you know, and it'll just repeat sort of thing. Anyway, we can do this now. Excuse me. We can go title and, oh, poo. Right, so we can go, um, bit, oh, oh, I don't know what we can call this. We call this great mistake. Um, no, I need to, right, I see. Sorry, I can't see it, you see, it's so dark now. So great mistake, composer, oh, Doug. And organist was Doug. done. And that's there now. And what we can do now is just swing it over into the hymnal. So we just press his, hit this button here. And what's lovely is you can share all this stuff. So there it is, great mistake. And we can now bin this one here. And it's done, but great mistake is still there. Uh, but what's lovely is you can, uh, Phil's hoping that community of organists worldwide will share their performances and stuff and things like that so you can download it and use the organ so i could play great mistake from here 
Or now I can go back into Chair Jordan, maybe go into Hymnal and Recordings. And there it is there, folks. Great mistake. Oops, well, it is. Great mistake. And we can play it again. And it even remembers the patch settings here. So you can see how good this is if you if you like uh, or a church organist or a musician or you don't even need to be able to play this stuff folks you know what i mean if you like chip pipe organs then it's a great thing just to listen to as well anyway It's nice to see you here. It's well, it's nice to see you here, Jamie. But I I I know why you're here, and I know that you gig a lot, man. And and are usually out and stuff. And I know it's a it's it's a serious bummer. I hope I can keep you guys over to, oh, entertained over the next couple of weeks or months or whatever it is, you know. Well, they get their act together and sort this out, you know. Gosh, lovely, isn't it? I love playing organs. Right, guys, other news, other news before we move on to something else. Um, um, tomorrow night's live stream is for the Mini Moog, uh, Mini Moog, Moog Model D. Uh, because Moog, because of the world crisis as well, and also because Moog figured that more people will be spending time indoors as much as they can kind of thing, uh, they've made Model D free. Uh, so everyone can get it for now, now you know what I mean? However, James Edward Cosby, the great and awesome sound designer extraordinaire for IVCS3, don't know how the man does it, has made a completely 100% free sound pack. Now, if you're a Patreon, you'll already have access to that because there was a post today. Um, but tomorrow night's live stream, I am going to be demoing that particular pack. And also, I am going to uh, put the link in for everybody, obviously, you know what I mean? But, you know, because I haven't had time to set that up yet. So, yeah, it's amazing about the Model D, and but the James Edward Cosby pack is absolutely spectacular. I'm even kidding, it's really, really great. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Awesome stuff. Now, uh, other things. Let's see. Other th yes, yes. Let's go and listen to Joe's new track. So, uh, what happens is Joe sends me the. She has Cubasis and all this set up. Now, because uh, well, we don't. <laughs> Joe uh, kind of well, apart from having to suffer me and do everything for me. Joe, Joe is. Um, Joe, we those we don't really. We don't really do each other like mess, me, mega presence or anything ever like that. So it's it's been a while, but Joe uh, has done so well with certain things lately, and 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 she's really loving the music and stuff like that. Gosh, it is so bright, 
Um, I wonder if that make any difference if I do that. Although I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought so. As long as you can see it, okay. I'm going to leave it as it is. But I know exactly what the problem is. But anyway, oh, that might be a bit better. Anyway. I think when I should, if I had this. Yeah, I could probably see it better if it was like that, actually. But anyway. Um, the the uh, the thing is. Oh, yes. So I bought Joe some stuff as a surprise. A real surprise from Gear for Music. <laughs> And I will show you these guys as well. So I got it a, uh, a, a, a an absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, it, no, Joe's playing keyboards and guitar. She's multi, <laughs> and it's great because she doesn't know what she's doing. And you know what? That's why the music she's making is really great. Because I remember when I started out and I had no idea what I was doing. I was much more productive. Anyway, here's the thing. It's a Heartwood. It's from Gear for Music. I think it's basically their own brand kind of thing. I don't know. Heartwood Revival Semi-Acoustic. And it's such a... I'm not kidding. I did There was no... Didn't have to mess with the intonation. Didn't have to do nothing. Tuned up perfectly. What? Brilliant. Sounds lovely. It's in tune all the way up the neck. Lovely tone, and I and I also got it a Mua, a, the the cheapest Mua uh, effects pedal, the Mua One Hundred, which is surprisingly good. I, I'm very, very, very impressed, and also a foot a foot rest because what she was playing my guitars, and it, it, it you know what it like you know when you have to keep pushing your heel up off the floor and it really makes the back of your legs ache. Uh, so and she, so she, the other day she was playing me guitar, uh, but was having to put her foot on uh, uh, the puffet or something to keep their legs supported, uh, or Watson, you know, Watson was the leg support, and uh, who knows what that is? Anyway, it was the leg support, and uh, th that that was like a lot easier. So I got her a foot support, four pound eighty p. Four pound eighty p for the guitar foot support, uh, and I tried that and I thought, flipping heck, that is a lot easier. The, the blinking guitar doesn't want to fall off me. Anyway, so I got her that stuff, and she, she was ever so chuffed, and has been playing with it. And I've tuned the guitar to open G, so when she uses it with the CBG, it'll all be the same. <laughs> close up um pipe organ now we're done dealing with that so this is so this is the track now joe sent it over to me and i added a little tiny bit of factory this this bit here the rest of it is joe and then i did a bit of mixing on it in eq and stuff because joe still learned how to do that stuff you know what it's like when it's thingy but this is cool so she's posted this one on soundcloud and it, it's it's it she used uh you can see is this the one? Yeah, Chronica. Chronica. She used three Chronicas, four Chronicas, because she loved spiders' patches. She really loved. I thought it was a wire pedal. No, oh, no, it's a foot. It's a foot thing. No, the the, the little mirror, the little mirror, which which was super cheap. <laughs> uh, I I I. That's got like a pedal on it, a wire pedal as well. And it's very cool. Anyway, it's it's but it's it really does. I mean, I'm I'm not like you know what I mean. You know, you, the pro guitars would be go, oh, no, no, you know, man, you want it, man, and you want and you want all separate. But not not for learning. You don't need all that stuff. Anyway, here's this track, which is a, a kind of started out as a tribute to Spiders Patches in Chronica. So it's called the Spider in Time. The track just Job named it the Spider in Time. So I'm going to play it for you guys. It's it's really, really very good. I'm going to uh, just shut me gob and play. Before I play, I must say that I was really surprised because it starts off really happy. And I'm thinking, because that's kind of like some sort of weird campsite thing, you know what I mean? But it gets real dark. I think that's really nice. Yeah, you see a nice spider walking along, you know, it's not a problem until it crawls up your leg.
Very cool, isn't it? It really is, though. Do you know what I mean? What's brilliant is Joe's learning really fast and starting to construct all this stuff as it's like it's strange soundscapes, and I absolutely love that. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. Well, yeah, you see, but it goes from really bright. You listen to it again, you see, and it's like, oh, hang on, that's really weird. And when when Joe did it right. This, that section of factory, this kind of really dark bit that wasn't there. And all this kind of just jumped in straight away. And I thought, oh, hang on a minute. That might be really nice if there's a gap there and something really dark and ambient, which basically one note in factory. And then, and then that come in as kind of a, as kind of a thing, you know? Anyway, it's like, uh, yeah, it's cool beans. Guys, I uh, hope you were all. I hope you're all staying, staying well and stuff as well, and and all the rest of it, and uh, you know, keeping cool beans and stuff. I'm going to go, and uh, tomorrow we'll shall we shall do um, what's it called? Um, Model D. Hang on a sec. Pardon me. Um, right. And well, amazing. The amazing um, Dean, uh, oh, James Edward Cosby, J says, um, pack for um, thingy, which will be a link in the description of the video tomorrow for that. So it's cool. So anyone who hasn't got it can can go grab it. If you like, I said, if you're already a patron, it's 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 there on the latest post. Just to click on the link, and I, oh, and a chance to grab old of uh, ye, ye oldy pipe organ. It's gone into the hat as well, you know. Um, so brilliant, top job, awesome. Um, guys, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to say ta to each other, as always. And uh, yeah, bless you all for joining me. And I re hope you enjoyed the look at the uh, epically cool pipe organ. Oh, it's, it's lovely. The epically cool pipe organ from Omni. Yes, yes. Which is really, really, really great. It's really great stuff. I think it's smashing. <laughs> But I shall do it. I shall make a, a, a make a demo for the guitar, and I shall I shall make a demo for the pedal as well, the Mua G G E one hundred. But I think what I'll do with the I'll put the pedal on the guitar. But I want to just show you uh, like a, make a review of the guitar as well. I was not really impressed. I was. Um, is that great stuff? Can't find JC's. No, not even though I imported them. Oh. That's strange. Um, that's 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 very odd, Colin. You should. I I just imported them and they're there. I think some other people have have imported them and they're there as well. I can't. I don't even know where it is now. Moog. Um, I bet it's in in inside a folder. It says. Oh, here we go. Um, here we go. Model D. Very strange. Uh, when I imported them, they, they're there. Uh, James Edward Cosby next to hyperdimensional pads. Oh, there, thing kind of thing. I need to set me MIDI up. I think. Uh, 
Where is he? Midi, midi, midi. Do you know what? I can't, guys, I seriously can't see what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to sort the light in it. Ah, or maybe tip this forward and, and angle the camera a bit better. Uh, key lab midi. Here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hang on a minute, folks. I need to work out my volumes for this because that is proper, proper. Look at it, look, 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 look. Got into the twilight zone of, if what's it that has? It's really hard to, there we go. I'm control it with this. So. I'll set this I'll set this up better tomorrow obviously uh, before the start <laughs> Great sounds though. Oh yeah, I like this is is this the last one? Yeah. Anyway, this is what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. And I will set it up properly and uh, make sure the volume is correct before I blow my own head off. Never mind anyone else's. Guys. Top job, cool beans. I will see you later. I'm going to let you say to while I just shut some of this stuff down.